This is Jonas from Oslo Pro. Today I'm going to show you Grefsenkollen, which is a lookout point and a restaurant in the north of Oslo. I have now driven from for about five minutes from my home, uh, and that's one of the things that's nice about Oslo. It is always close to nature. Wherever you are, you can always get to a place like this if just by taking the metro or the bus for about maximum 20 minutes. First up here is uh, on the, uh, the left side is Oslo Ski Center. This is a nice uh, skiing facility. They have nice slopes here. Uh, I've been there a few times, but uh, I've since stopped going because I've stopped skiing. I was in a quite bad uh, skiing accident. You know, if you're gonna go there skiing, uh, obviously not now, but in the winter, and you see some kids, uh, you start to get bored, and you see some kids going on the ski jumps, and uh, uh, you think, oh, that looks easy, I'll just go try it for myself. Then don't do it, because you might end up selling your skis on eBay like I did. Um, this is also a great place, this road, this road is Grefsen Kolvein. It's a great place to, uh, to, to go for a run, if you're in for a challenging run. Uh, or a cycle, a cycle uh, tour. Then uh, you should go here. Uh, there's also a um, in in May there is a race going on here. Grevsen Kolen up. I'll leave a link to this in the video description. So that's some serious uh, hill work right there. Uh, but now we are arriving at Grevsen Kolen, top of Grevsen Kolen, and hopefully no tour buses. So uh, no tour buses today. Then there should be uh, enough room for us to. Go check out this place. The house at the top is an old ski lodge from 1927. And here there's a bar over Oslo. Uh, it's closed right now because in the summer when it's nice, not nice you have to sit outside at the patio. Uh, but I guess they will be open this evening and then they will have kind of a bonfire here to attract people. Uh, here's some information about stuff that's going on here. Uh, next up is Beer Fest at October 13th and 14th. And this is uh, the over Oslo Music Festival. It's a quite large music festival. It's already been in, in this summer, so you have to go next year if you want to get that. And um, this mostly mostly Norwegian bands, but this year they actually had a, a quite famous uh, headliner, Riksop, the Norwegian electronica band. You might even have heard of that. And this is uh, the uh, patio. It's usually a restaurant inside. It's closed now for the summer until August 6th, but um, this uh, cafe has quite nice pizzas and uh, shrimp sandwiches and beer and stuff like that. When the music festival is going on, they put up the stage down there and uh, you have the Oslo, uh, you have a great view of Oslo in the background. I bet this has to be one of the music festivals in the world with the greatest view. If you don't want to spend any money at the restaurant, that's all right. Just bring your own food and sit down and have a picnic at one of the benches. There are many ways to get to Grefsenkollen. You can take bus number 56B, or you can walk by the road, or take one of the multiple forest paths that leads to Grefsenkollen. And this is the view that we all came here for. From here you can see downtown Oslo with the twin towers of City Hall, and you can see the Oslo Fjord with all the islands in, and in the far you can actually see Denmark. Just kidding, actually that's something completely different. You can also see Holmekollen, the ski jump from here, and that is also the side where the sun will be setting. So needless to say, this is a great place to sit down and watch the sun setting over Oslo.